that right. I think we've had selective cherry picking mm. of the philosophy. And sometimes they've been geared toward an interest in toughing it out, grit, mm. uh, a rugged self-reliance. And we've failed to see that the connective connective tissue that's part of our resilience is part of the stoic story mm. um, and we've also failed to see how the ways in which we can express our emotions and show others our emotions are still part of the story mm. you know they have very complicated views about emotions there's three different levels of them uh, like autonomic arousal almost, proto-emotions, ordinary emotions, and then uh, a sage's emotions. None of us are going to be sages. Hmm. Um, most of us are just going to be, as you say, striving to be as good as we can be and influencing hmm. us to be that way. And so that involves a lot of um, uh, vulnerability. Hmm. Uh, the vulnerability is going to be feeling ashamed that you did something wrong, that's mm -hmm. a big part of Cicero's beef against did this did Cleantes really get it that you know there was a guy named Alcibiades and he cried a lot when he wasn't as good as Socrates did <laughs> did they get did they forget about the mm -hmm. tears of Alcibiades um, you know and and so coming back to think about uh, the subtler contours of Stoicism and how it's very much still a part of the picture I think is very important. Mm -hmm.